how to light yourself up creating a fashion video for beginners so let's talk about the light types i'll keep it simple for you there are just two major light types we have the soft light and the hard lights so what are soft lights and what are hard lights soft lights are lights that are not so harsh to the skin or to the face you can literally shine it on yourself without tweaking or tweaking your eye like this but with the hard lights you cannot look into the light because it's too harsh so examples of soft lights are ring lights beauty lights we have this panel light very very good and of course the big one the soft box it could be a godox soft box it could be a suite photo soft box anyone as long as it has a cover like this now let's talk about hard lights hard lights are very very popular we all know we all have it they are led lights and there are all sorts of led lights out there there's the led 600 led 800 led 1000 etc those are harsh lights once they shine to your face there's you, you just can't look into them now are they bad no but there's a way you use them to give you the results that you want what i recommend is usually a mixture of soft lights and hard lights if you want to create content whatever kind of content it is mix a soft light with a hard light to give you that desired look that you want so i have found out that the lightning in the room sort of helps with brightness for fashion videos so if you want to create fashion styling videos you have to be in a well-lit room but in the cases where you are not in a well-lit room i will show you how to light yourself up you just need more light but it's easier to do so if you are in a room that is well lit so let's get started so I need to remind you that this is how to light yourself up creating a fashion video for beginners. Please, I'm just trying to keep it simple for you so you can just get started with your content creation. So now the first thing is how do you set up your tripod so it can record you from your head to your feet? Um, the trick is I just formulated the trick and it worked for me. So I would show you. Um, come forward this is our model and I have my tripod and my phone clamped on my tripod so what would happen is I need the height of my tripod to be at her waistline so come forward please down to her waistline if you see that right so she's going to take four or five steps backward to get that view from the phone so take four or five steps backward you one two three four five did it work so it depends on how tall you are. It could be six steps backward, seven steps backward, but you, you, would, you would actually get the result that you want. So that's how to set your tripod to record you from head to toe. So we're going to talk about the lights. So to set up my lights, I usually follow the guide called three point lighting. We're going to have a key light, a rim light, and then a fill light. I would explain them to you. The brightest of my lights, those, those, that's three lights in total, right? But the first two are very important. While the third one is optional, but it helps. It does the job for you. It helps in a way. I'll show you. So the first one, key light, is usually my, the brightest light. And that's this one. And the brightest light is always a soft light. That's what I do. And that's what I love to do. So I don't make my key light a hard light. So my, the brightest light that I'm using to create my fashion videos should be a soft light. And that is a panel light. I recommend this light because of how soft and wide it looks. So it covers up a larger area by the time I turn it on. Now let me talk about 
the lighting in the room. So I would love to start from scratch. Although it's usually better to light up your space to create fashion video with the lights in your room turned on. It just helps fill up all the shadows in the corners. But since you're a beginner, you probably don't have a lot of lights in your ceiling. We're going to turn off all of the lights and then use what we have. Now, the whole place, the whole space is dark. So we're going to turn on our key lights against our subject here, the model. Good. Now, if you're trying to film yourself against a backdrop, against the wall, whatsoever, try to give some space. Don't just be too close to the wall or the backdrop. So step forward one bit. Good. That's perfect. So always give a space or a distance between the backdrop, the background, and you. So we've turned on our key lights. Everything is looking pink. Remember I mentioned this three-point lighting. So we've turned on our key lights, which is the brightest of them all, the biggest, and of course, a soft light. Now, the second light would be a harsh or a hard light and it could be a lead light it could be it could be another soft box yeah it's up to you really you could mix soft light hard light you can mix soft light soft light but this is just how i do my thing uh so for the second light which is the rim light is a lead light so i would turn it on now for you to see so it will act as a light that lightens up or possibly cast away the shadow that is going on right here on her right hand side or is it left on her left hand side so because we are using just one light we have shadows being casted on this side which is not bad but some people are not okay with that now she could still shoot a video like this if she's on a budget with just a key light but it um, doesn't really good look too good we can make it better so let's turn on our rim light which is the second light the second important light so you just position it on her other side and then you turn it on so you can see it lightens up the shadow a bit so you can see that she looks better and uh nicer unlike when it was just one light that we were using so now, she can still film herself like this, you know, if she's still on a budget, but we can always take it a step further and make it better. If you look at the lower part of her body, it is not as bright as the upper part of her body because the key light and the rim light are directly and focused at the upper part of her body. So now we need another light to fill up the lower part. If this were not a fashion video, a full video, probably if it's a talking video, she'll probably not need to light up the lower part of herself. She'll just need to film from here, from her waist upward. So we need to introduce a third light, a fill light. And it could be a soft light, it could be a, a hard light, but it could be a smaller kind of light um, if compared to the sizes of lights we are using at the moment. So this is a LED 600. It's smaller than these lights that we're using, but it's going to do the job. So we are placing the lights behind the tripod so that it is not seen while we are recording. And then we turn it on. So you could just see how it fills up her bottom section. And then it's all looking nice and beautiful. So she's just ready to go to start creating fashion videos. So she's gonna do all her transitions and get ready with me. We just these three lights all set up in a room that is dark. So I want to show you something. Maybe if maybe it will be obvious. Let me turn on the lights in the room and let's see the effect in her video.
can you see that it makes her video better and that is what majority of you want you want bright looking videos so that you can create your fashion uh content so it is important or it is helpful if the lights in the room are enough and uh, efficient but it's still okay if you don't have a, enough lights in your room and you could just use the three lights that i've just shown you so i hope with this you now understand how to light yourself up to create those fashion videos and one last thing the quality of your phone matters do not believe anyone that tells you no it's not about your phone it's about the lights it is bullshit your quality of your phone matters. So what I would advise you, because there are lots of phones in the market, when you want to get a phone to create content like this, look out for high-end phones and not phones that are way back five, six, seven years, just probably phones that are maximum two years old in the market and you're good to go. I can't mention any brands here because they are not sponsoring me. So, so the next video that I would like you to watch, that you must watch, is a continuation of this. We've talked about how to record yourself, how to light up yourself while creating a fashion video. You standing, recording yourself from head to toe. I want to talk about how to record a YouTube video or a talking video. How to light up yourself while seated uh, to record a YouTube video or a talking video. And it's just almost exactly the same thing but a different uh, scenario so i would implore you to watch that after this video please do watch that because i'll literally be wearing the same outfit so yeah you would know